Hello, thanks for joining me today. This is Danny, and this is episode two of my Feed the Beast Infinity series. I am just enjoying the beautiful landscape here in the seed. I really love the seed. I think I may have mentioned that once or twice in the last episode. Um, today, my objectives are as follows. I have a clipboard now to help me organize things. I'm going to build an electric boat because you see, I have this quarry that is, see I'm here and it's here. And since I can't fly, I've been using boats to get back and forth. And the vanilla Minecraft boats, well, I don't need to tell you how much they suck. They suck. So <laughs> I'm going to make an electric boat and then I'm going to make the ender um, the sword because I need ender pearls and I'm not having any luck getting any I don't have I don't have a single one yet and then I'm going to make a harvester and planter for my tree farm over here um, even though I love using my axe because check this out boom <laughs> that is awesome but um, of course it would be a lot more efficient if I, if I didn't have to do that, if it would do it for me. And I could concentrate on other things, like making an electric boat, taking care of my quarry, and all the other fun stuff I want to do, and finishing my base, because my base is still... Um, just four walls and no roof. And not really a floor either, so which is working out pretty well nice right now. I like being able to look up and see the sun and everything, but uh, yeah, it would be nice to have a proper base. Um, <clears throat> and then I have a long-term list here too. We may or may not get to any of this stuff today. Um, I want to set up some kind of item power transfer, either a tesseract or a dimensional transceiver. I think that's the Ender IO thing, the dimensional transceiver, to get all the stuff from my quarry over here and to transfer power to the quarry so that I don't have to keep running back and forth and then I want to get into applied energistics too as soon as possible I think that'll be a good way because I haven't really done any exploring yet around here and I think that this looks like it would be a very fun area to explore and I'm so far I mean I want to do a lot of the exploring on the sea because once again, I can't fly, and I'm soon going to have an electric boat. And what else? Jetpack, so that we can fly. Uh, for now, eventually, of course, I want to get the, um, the division sigil, so that we can make the angel ring. Um, tree farm, actually, I talked about that already. Animal farm. So we can, of course, raise animals and get resources from them and build the base. And of course, these aren't really in any particular order, but these three things I all want to do right now, starting now. So start. I'm going to start with a boat. Now, this is actually my first time working with industrial craft, I think. I'm not sure if I've ever done anything with industrial craft before, but we need three of these insulated copper cables. It's, it's quite a, there's a lot of layers to this, um, to this crafting recipe and then we need a water mill which is some easy stuff and a generator which is this battery and some more iron plates and insulated tin cable so th so there's a lot there's a lot of steps here so first of all we'll start off with copper cables and rubber now we're gonna need to make two tools we're gonna need to make a cutter um, which is three iron plates and two iron ingots and of course in order to make the iron plates we're gonna need to make a forge hammer or forge hammer. So we'll start with that and then let's make that cutter. Oh, we're gonna need to make iron plates. Okay. Um, so we'll throw some iron in there. Put our hammer here. Let's see, how many iron plates are we gonna need? We've got five here and then three for the cutter and three here so that's what did I say five so that's eleven so sixteen we need sixteen iron plates 
So let's put four of these back. And just grab 16 right away. And then let's make this cutter. <clears throat> okay, we only need one of these. Um. Oh, whew. I lost my forge hammer already. All right, and then we're going to need some rubber bars and some copper. So rubber bars <clears throat> are just. Let's see, how many do we need? Oh, right. So we need three. I think we needed one more in here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe we just need the three. So we had a... Oh, in here, an insulated tin cable. Yeah, so we need four. Four rubber bars. So we'll just cook up... Um, these, plus one more. Put these guys back. And since the last episode, I did move the quarry again. Um, I brought a bunch of... I actually cut down a big, huge tree over there and made some more charcoal. So when we get back there, there should be quite a bit of stuff waiting for us. There's our four rubber bars. Now we need to make this copper cable, which is a copper plate. We need three of these, but we need some copper. Oh, wait a minute. I think we only need... Yeah, this makes two. So we only actually need two of these guys. The forge hammer. Alright, let's put this back. And we'll grab our cutters. And we'll have to make four of these, even though we only need three. Energy flow! And we should be all set for three of these. Yay! Okay, so now we need our water mill, which is a generator, which is a battery, which is an insulated. So we need a tin, we need a tin cable. Tin, where's it? here's our tin. So once again, we flatten it with our hammer, and we cut it up with our cutter. Okay, we just need one of those. Then, what can we do? I think we can make redstone. Oh, we've got to make these tin item casings. So we're going to need a bunch of tin. I think we need two pieces of tin. Wait a minute. Okay, yes. Forge hammer. Tin. Two pieces of tin, and then we're going to smash them again to make the item casings. Okay, I'm running out of room in my inventory. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got everything except the redstone. Just grab a bunch of that, because we might need more. Alright, we've got a battery. So, let's keep all this stuff here. We've got our insulated copper cables, our tin cables, and our battery. Now we can make our iron furnace, which is just a furnace and a bunch of iron plates. Okay, iron furnace. Now, water mill. Three of these. That gives us our generator. Suitable power. Okay, water mill. Generator, wooden sticks. And two water mills. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Yay, we have our electric boat. And I'm hoping, I'm not sure about this, but I'm hoping I can charge this in our um, capacitor bank, in our Ender IO capacitor bank. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ah, we can't. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, bat pack. Um, or, or an energy pack. The bat pack is cheaper, so I'm gonna go with that for now. Hopefully it will hold enough power for us to... Um, so we need a whole bunch of these batteries again, which are again 
insulated tin cables. Uh, let's see, and we need six of them. And I think we already have, we have two tin cables. So we're gonna need more rubber. Uh, let's see. Six. So we're gonna need six more rubber. And we have two. Fortunately, we have a bunch of rubber trees right over there. Ooh. Oh wait, why am I not using a boat? <laughs> Actually, I should be using my electric boat. I'm just gonna let it crash. Hopefully I got some saplings, yep. I'm gonna plant those closer to the house. In fact, I'm just gonna cut down all these rubber trees. Okay, that's good. And while I'm over here, might as well grab these. And these. Whoa, that one must not have been connected. Oh, I'm out of space. Okay, so I'm going to smelt up this rubber, do a little bit of, um, do a little bit of inventory or organizing, and I will be right back. All right, I made my six RE batteries. You've already seen me make one of those, so I just made that off camera. Now I'm gonna make this electric circuit, which is six insulated copper cables, two redstone and an iron plate. I think we need an iron plate. We've got our six cables. We've got, let's see. And we've got our redstone. All right, there we go. Now I hope this thing <laughs> will charge, hey. All right, so we put that there, we put these there, and we put a piece of wood there, and that gives us our bat pack. No way. <coughs> okay, so what I need is a generator, a industrial craft generator. Apparently industrial craft uh, does not accept RF <laughs> in any way. I mean, even through, there's just no way to convert the RF to, how did my, how did my capacitor bake turn? Huh, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have kind of a separate power system over here that's gonna have one purpose, and that is to, to um, power my backpack. And that's perfectly fine. And it's pretty slow. It takes quite a while to charge this thing. So uh, while we're waiting for that, why don't we get started on our ender? That would be the ender. This guy, this sword, it's just two dark steel and a stick. So it's pretty easy. The dark steel is iron, coal dust, and obsidian. So we're going to need two pieces of coal two pieces of obsidian and two pieces of iron which we've got so we take our coal stick it in here where it will become coal dust I'm gonna grab it oh crap we don't want the oh actually we do want that in there okay that is exactly where we want it oh we ended up with three nice okay but we don't need three we only need two all right so we'll grab that last one out, stick it in here, and put away all this stuff. So we don't need it anymore. Eventually I'm going to upgrade these with um, double layer capacitors, but we will need to go into the end first. 
um, these guys, double layer capacitors, and that'll make it go a lot faster. We can also upgrade our generators too, and they'll generate more power, and they'll also be more efficient. Um, but we need this energetic alloy, which requires glowstone dust, um, which is pretty easy. I mean, we can go into the end and grab, or into the nether and grab some glowstone dust. And then we can also use this octatic capacitor, which uses two double layer capacitors, and then this vibrant alloy which we're gonna need ender pearls for um, and that's why we're making the ender right now because that's one of the many things that we're gonna need ender pearls for so we have one dark steel and then what was the third thing I wanted to do today hmm, where'd my clipboard go the harvester and the planter so I think we're gonna have just enough time to do these three things before our Time is up for this episode. Come on, let's go. So the great thing about the Ender, it's not the strongest sword in the world, it's about the same as an iron sword, but you can upgrade it, Vibrant Crystal, um, with a Vibrant Crystal, and then after you do that, there's some other upgrades you can do as well. But this, the value of it is that it's increases the drops pretty much every time you kill an enderman you get an ender pearl so that's why I made that and then if we upgrade it it'll be stronger um, and it will last longer with the vibrant crystal which needs an ender pearl <laughs> and I think it also needs a uh, yeah it needs the vibrant alloy which needs ender pearls and then it also needs an emerald and I have no idea where villages are around here so at some point once I get my electric boat <laughs> I'll set up once this thing is charged. I might actually upgrade that bat pack because I don't know how far that's going to take us. Um, it's 60... Oh, 60k EU. Oh, that'll get us pretty far because I think the boat sucks something like 10 EU per tick or something like that. I'll have to look that up. Hopefully it's not 10k EU per tick. Um, so, okay, while we're still waiting for that, um, I'm going to go get some more rubber. Because, whoops, because we're going to need rubber for our harvester and our planter. We're gonna, I think we're going to need quite a bit of it. We have to make sheets. I think we have to make four plastic sheets, um, which is going to be 16 rubber. Let's take a look once. Harvester. Um, yeah, two plastic sheets, which is four raw plastic. And the raw plastic is just smelted rubber bars which is smelted rubber so we just sm basically smelt it twice and then we'll have our plastic all that I might as well just stick it all in there so I don't think we ever use raw rubber for anything oh. right, yeah okay all right so while that's going on I think this is done yep that's done so this guy gets worn like a backpack. So I'm going to lose protection, which kind of sucks, but I think you can attach it to some something or something. I don't know. We'll look into that. <clears throat> but I'll probably just wear it when I'm riding the boat. Electric boat. Okay. All right. That, <laughs> that's nice. That's definitely faster than the vanilla boats. We. All right. We can check on our. We can check on our quarry right away. And check this out. I can bang into something, and it just drops the boat instead of dropping little bits and pieces of wood. <laughs> Hmm. Why did it stop? Oh, we probably ran out of power. Okay. Yeah, definitely ran out of power. Let me stick this rubber wood in there. And get it going again. This is our winning so far. <laughs> a lot of cobble, a lot of dirt, a lot of sand. 
gravel, 17 obsidian, some gold, some certus quartz and charred certus quartz, which we will need when we get into our ME system for our applied energistics 2. Alright, so I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, um, and I will meet you back at the house. I'm going to hang out here to make, to get these things powered. And I actually, what I'm doing, um, I have a, I have two gold chests. And a dolly. And here, I think, yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is, I should have done that before I started this thing. Um, I'm going to grab this chest when it's full and just replace it with an empty one and then it'll just start filling that chest up and then I can take this chest and actually here's a little trick <laughs> that I learned from T-Fox I think um, if you put the dolly in your bag of holding then you're not slow anymore um, oh and actually let me back up a little bit the dolly allows you to pick up chests with all of its contents so it's pretty cool you can just pick up a chest and move it somewhere else but while you're carrying the chest because you're carrying a chest you get slowness and mining fatigue too so you can see I'm walking really slow but um, there's kind of a, a kind of a cheaty workaround to that and that's put it in your bag of holding and whoops and you lose the uh, the slowness and mining fatigue all right it's time to go enderman hunting uh oh I don't get stuck under my boat <laughs> <laughs> oh come on now if you hit these guys with the ender they will not be able to teleport but I failed to hit it <laughs> what is that oh oh I don't have my full armor on darn it I almost forgot Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, that was my first death. See? <laughs> death. One. From a stupid Enderman. Believe that crap. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep. Go get my stuff, and you know what, I think I'm going to have to make myself some kind of protection. Let's just do an iron sword. Alright, I'm going to put that embarrassing defeat behind me, <laughs> and make some plastic. So we basically put our rubber bars in here, and it will make these piles of plastic, whatever they're called. Raw plastic. And it will. Okay, so while that's cooking, um, we're gonna have to make some invar. We're gonna need six, six of these, which is two iron and one ferrous. So I'm actually gonna need two ferrous and six iron. I mean four iron. Grind those up. Um, but before we do that, we have to turn this off. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to grind them down, and then it's going to smelt them and turn them back into ingots. And we don't want that. So we'll let it grind those up. And then we can make... Okay, while we're waiting for that, we can make our gold gears. Which actually the easiest way to make gold gears is with gold, of course, and iron. I wonder how many we're gonna need. So that's the thermal foundation recipe, is probably the easiest one. Um, and then the redstone um, reception coil. I need some redstone. Just 
one of these, I think. Actually, I think we need one also for the planter. Yeah, we do. So I might as well make two. Um, we're also gonna need a flower pot for the planter. clay in there. Okay. And there. Alright, so our plastic is done. I'm not sure why I put it in two different stacks. <laughs> but let's see. So now we can take our plastic and make plastic sheets out of it. Go to bed. Wake up. <laughs> and Let's get back to the harvester, that's what I want to do first. Alright, so we need a machine frame, which is iron ingots and a tin gear, so we're going to need some tin and some glass. How many tin gears? Just one tin gear. Oops. Um, I want iron in the middle too, yeah. And then four glass and four. Oh, there we go. All right, there's our machine frame. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna need one of those for the other one too. These two recipes are pretty similar, yeah. So I guess we should have made two of these guys. Right. Mm, we need more glass. We've got exactly four. That should do it. Yep. All right. Now we've got two of those, and we should have. Whoops. Uh, so it ended up resmelting them, even though. So we have to have them both disabled. And we're gonna need a couple pistons. Oh, I need iron again. Might as well just keep a half a stack of iron. I think we only need these for the planters. Oh, exactly enough for two. And we're gonna need a couple copper gears. One ferrous. Dust and two aluminum dust gives us invar blend. So that's six. That should make six ingots of invar as soon as the copper is done. We can grab this copper. We actually only need four to make another copper gear. All right. What else do we need for the planter? We still need the flower pot. Got three brick. Flower pot. I think we have everything. Yep, there we go. There's our planter. Now we just need to make the harvester. And so we need those invar in axes. I think we've got everything else. Oh, we need a set of shears. That's easy enough. Three invar. Let's see. Do we have everything else? We have our redstone reception coil. Actually, why don't we get everything set? Where's our plastic? Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that recipe makes a bunch of plastic sheets, not just one. So I made a little more than I needed, but that's okay. Whoa, that's weird. Okay. And our two gold gears. So all we need now are the two invar axes. Which I'm going to have to make somewhere else. Oh, here, I've got another crafting table over here. There, two invar axes. And there we have it, a harvester. 
So now we're gonna have to run power to these guys. We've got five energy conduits, that's not gonna be enough. Um, so I'm gonna make some more of those. Whoa. But first, let's just set this guy up. We'll set up the planter here. Wait, no, the harvester goes here. Nope, oh, wrong way. That little hole is the output. So I guess we want to face this way. And we'll probably, for now, we'll just throw a chest there. All right. So I, <laughs> I was one short. So here we are. Now, as soon as I connect this, this harvester is going to cut down all these trees and shoot everything out the back here. So I'll just catch it <laughs> for now, and then I'm going to put a chest there when I'm done here. So, oh, yep, it's grabbing, it grabs the leaves first. <laughs> it shoots out saplings. And here's the wood. Wait, two things I want to do now. So first, we've got to put our planter down here. We've got to give it power. Um... And we're going to throw some saplings in there. I'm actually going to fill up the rest of the inventory with cobble because we only want it to store one stack. Oh, yes, we have cobble here. All right, now we get when we get back up, and <laughs> we should see that there are saplings planted, yep. And we can even put a piece of dirt here and it'll plant one in the center as well, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I wanna be able to interface or, uh, with that easily. We can cover this up. All right, so now the only thing we have left to do is get the saplings from here to here so that we don't run out of saplings. Um, we can do that manually for the time being, or actually we're gonna have to, because I wanna use item conduits and we're gonna need an ender pearl for that. And we still have no ender pearls. Um, after my embarrassingly inept attempt <laughs> at killing an enderman, uh, we still have no ender pearls. Electric boat, check. The ender, check. Harvester, planter, check. Tree farm, check. <laughs> All right, so that that's enough. Um, I'm gonna take a trip over to the quarry after I empty out this chest, and that's gonna be it for me for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. It's pretty easy to do, and it lets me know uh, what kind of content you're interested in so that I know what to do more of. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time when we will... What will we do? Next time we're going to... Hmm concentrate on these two. Actually, we're going to do something in this list next time. <laughs> Probably a couple things. And I'll have to decide sometime between now and then. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.